About every year you hear a story on New Year's Day about the first baby in the Baltimore region or the first baby in Maryland. Well, this year it's even more impressive. It appears that a little girl born this morning at Greater Baltimore Medical Center was the first baby born anywhere in the country in 2010. Say hello to Olivia Rose Allen. Hi. She's healthy, 7 pounds, 13.8 ounces, 20 and a quarter inches long. But little Olivia Rose Allen has one statistic other babies don't. Check out the time on that card. She was delivered on January 1st, 2010 at 12 o'clock midnight. The big joke was everyone was saying you got to get her in for the tax deduction and <laughs> that sort of thing. Adrian and Jerry Allen of Hartford County won't be getting that tax deduction because Olivia was born just four seconds after midnight. Hospital officials spent the day calling other hospitals around the country. It appears that Olivia is 2010's first baby anywhere in the United States. That was really cool. I just so kind of sinking in, you know. Olivia also happens to be extremely quiet. Thank you very much. This yeah. was the first peep she made, even as her parents were interviewed for more than 10 minutes. Adrian was scheduled to be induced on Saturday, but then she started having contractions Thursday afternoon. And then they got uh, closer and stronger and that was really scary, <laughs> so we better go to the hospital. The rest is history. The delivery went smoothly four seconds after midnight. What a way to start the new year. That was, yeah, it was a big surprise. It was exciting. Mm -hmm. It was neat. Yeah, the Allens also have a 16-month-old girl at home. Hospital officials say there was a baby born in Chicago this morning, 10 seconds after midnight. There's no official national registry to check the times, but they do believe Olivia is baby number one in the country this year. She is a baby who was born with a built-in superlative. Her name's Olivia Rose Allen. She arrived at the stroke of midnight today, making her Baltimore's first baby of 2010 and possibly the nation's first. Uh, baby. From the moment she was born, Olivia Rose Allen was really special. She arrived with bragging rights. That was really cool. I just still kind of sinking in, you know. With an official delivery time of exactly 12 a.m. on January 1st, the folks at GBMC believe Olivia Rose Allen is America's first baby of 2010. Adrian and Jerry Allen say the timing of their daughter's birth was a big surprise. Yeah, the whole thing was, um, it was really just unexpected. I just expected to have a baby, and uh, you know, and but the you know the big joke was everyone was saying you gotta get her in for the tax deduction and <laughs> that sort of thing. So this is a, a lot neater. <laughs> Adrian was scheduled to be induced on January second, but obviously little Olivia didn't want to wait. And as 2010's baby New Year, the Harford County couple says their daughter can look forward to a lifetime of fireworks on her birthday. Yeah. There's also a hospital in Cleveland claiming to have the nation's first baby of the new year. The Allens say that is a title that they are happy to share. And just as the clock struck midnight last night, little Olivia Allen made her entrance into the world. The first baby born in 2010 here in Maryland and the first baby born in 2010 in the nation. WJZ is live outside GBMC in Towson. Kelly McPherson joins us with reaction from mom, dad and the doctor who delivered this little bundle of joy. Kelly. Hi, Denise. When Jerry and Adrian Allen welcomed their little girl here at GBMC, they knew pretty shortly after that she was the first in Maryland. But today they found out that she may in fact be the first New Year's baby of 2010 for all of the United States. Now, how is the Olivia Rose Allen has won her first competition, and she's not even a day old. Yeah, that was exciting. That was exciting. She's the first New Year's baby of 2010, born four seconds after midnight at the Greater Baltimore Medical Center in Towson. Probably could have pushed a little bit sooner, but um. I said, well, if we just wait five minutes, you know, I said, okay. He didn't really have his heart set on it. Her doctor delivered the couple's first daughter and didn't expect to hold the country's first baby of the decade. I left around 10. Now, were you guys celebrating the New Year? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I, I go to sleep. It occurred to me that oh, really? she's going to deliver around midnight. Of course, I didn't know which way. 
and she had a, you know, she was very normal uh, and had a very normal labor and a very normal delivery. It is she out of the ordinary to beat out so many other babies for the number one spot. This little boy was first in Massachusetts. Another girl was first in Florida, but none came into the world before this little Maryland baby, Olivia, whose parents say they high-fived knowing their baby will get fireworks for every birthday. The big joke was everyone was saying you got it get her in for the tax deduction and <laughs> that sort of thing, so. Um, but this is a, a lot neater. <laughs> The nurses here at the hospital call around to all of the other hospitals in the state. That's how they figured out that Olivia was first in Maryland for 2010. But there's no real official organization to validate that she is the first in the United States. But in our research and in the hospital's research, no one else was born before midnight and four seconds. That was her exact delivery date, Denise. All right. Thank you, Kelly. In the past six years, GBMC has had three of the first New Year's babies. Of course, they deliver a lot of babies there. A, ma a mom and dad from Churchville are celebrating the birth of a brand new baby girl tonight, and she's already making a big name for herself. Miranda Stevens is here to tell us why this adorable baby is making big news. Hello, Miranda. Hey, Karen. Well, you know, Olivia Rose Allen has not only been named the first baby of the new year in Baltimore, but it's also believed she's the first baby of 2010 in the entire country. Baby Olivia was born at the stroke of midnight at GBMC. She weighs in at 7 pounds, 13.8 ounces. Now, Olivia was supposed to get here December 29th, but when that didn't happen, doctors plan to induce her mom tomorrow. But little Olivia had other plans, and everyone, including the doctor, went along. I think we probably could have pushed a, probably could have pushed a little bit sooner, but um, I said, well, if we just wait five minutes, you know, I said, okay. He didn't really have his heart set on it, so. <laughs> and Olivia's parents first thought they were tied with another couple who gave birth in Chicago, but since Chicago is an hour behind Eastern Standard Time, it looks like a baby Olivia stands all alone. Miranda Stevens, Fox 45 News at 530. All right, thanks, Miranda.